Hey, Earth Week continues here on AM Extra. There is a growing need for healthy and sustainable foods, and a Portland nonprofit is hoping to help plant the seeds for a better future. Growing Gardens is now in its 25th year, and Pacific Power is helping them with their mission on this Earth Day. Joining us live right now is Jason Skipton, Executive Director of Growing Gardens, and Bob Gravely, Regional Business Manager with Pacific Power. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good morning. Okay, so Jason, congrats on 25 years. You know, how has the pandemic affected the need for these uh, really sustainable food systems? Yeah, you know, it's it's a really big accomplishment for us to be at 25 years celebrating right now and, and really thinking about what we've gone through and how we've progressed and really innovated our work over these last 12 months. And the pandemic has really showed that food insecurity is really present right now in our communities and that we couldn't say no as an organization. We had to really step up to that need and listen and respond to community by getting gardens built. We built over 80 gardens last year during the, the pandemic. We're in the process right now of building 40 this month. We had to develop a lot of new systems. We have a micro team that goes out there and builds gardens every single day. And it's really, to respond and meet the needs of folks to get them, not only gardens to start growing their own food for increasing family food security right now, but also getting them emergency food boxes like you're seeing right here through partnerships with local farmers as well. Yeah, I would imagine that, that some of these gardens have become, uh, you know, not only fulfilling that need in these food insecure communities, but really just a, a probably a, a fun activity, a, a source mm -hmm. of, you know, enjoyment for people in this pandemic in this past year. Uh, it, it's been a great thing to, to maintain. And I know Bob Pacific Power recently gave a grant to Growing Gardens. So why was this a cause that you wanted to get behind? Well, you know, in addition to celebrating Earth Week this week, uh, this is Growing Gardens is precisely the kind of organization that the Pacific Power Foundation looks to support. I mean, these are organizations that that build community, they help residents. I mean, I was out watching one of the uh, gardens get planted, and in addition to everything Jason has mentioned, it was just so inspiring to hear stories of how you know, the, the simple act of having a garden has, has helped, you know, people with their anxiety and their depression and has, has set them, um, has changed the way they approach their health and they've replaced some of their medicines with healthy food. And to hear those kinds of stories, uh, that, is, that is precisely the, the kind of organization that, that Pacific Power is very proud to partner with and support with these, these incredible programs. Oh yeah, they're doing uh, such amazing work in the community. Jason, tell us about the, the scope of your programs in the Portland area. Yeah, so here's something that maybe a lot of folks might not know about Growing Gardens is, is really we're working uh, across the metro area with about 300 families in our home gardens program. That's really the roots to our organization, getting families engaged in growing their own food. We also work in 10 elementary schools, one middle school and one high school, really engaging kids with math and science in the garden. And then lastly, we're working in 16 correctional facilities, providing nine months of horticulture education and then production. So last year, even during the pandemic, we were able to help grow over 365,000 pounds of organic produce that went back into prison meals for inmates to eat healthy food. Wow. I know we, we've had some chefs on the show, too, for Chef in Your Garden, some, mm -hmm. some really awesome programs and fundraisers that support all those programs. Uh, so, Bob, for this next grant cycle, uh, if organizations are, are interested in also getting some support from Pacific Power Foundation, like Growing Gardens, how can they apply? Yeah, they can go to our website, uh, you know, pacificpower.net slash foundation, and we have four cycles throughout the year, and the next deadline is, is June 15th. So, uh, folks can go lo look at that um, and, and apply. You know, the, the foundation uh, gives out about a million dollars a year, and it's a lot of very small grants. So a lot of the grants are $2,500, $5,000, um, very few, you know, maybe up to 10, but they're, they're kind of small grants. So we try and support as many organizations as we can. So very much encourage, you know, people, uh, to go check that out. Um, there's so many great organizations and programs out there and we're eager to partner. Yeah, okay, well, thank you so much for joining us, Bob and Jason. Have a great morning and happy Earth Day. Thank Thanks you. I appreciate it.
Thank you. And to learn more about Pacific Power's grant program and how you can help out growing gardens, we'll have links on coin.com.